Hi everyone, good morning, good evening, you know, wherever you are, we are here today. We are going to start a little discussion this morning uh, here in Singapore where I am, uh, but I'll be joined by a few people because we're going to be talking a little bit about TAPS online and a really kind of unique way that we've been working with this. So uh, I've got Randy Moss here and Chris Bird, who is from Sydney, and he's from Ravenswood School for Girls in Sydney. He's going to be joining us in just a second. We just had a bit of a technical issue, so uh, we'll be waiting for him to join us. But Randy, while we're waiting, do you want to tell us a little bit about you and a bit about your history with ISTA? Sure. Um, I went to ISTA Festival in 1993 hosted my first event in 1994 and have been involved as an artist, a teacher, um, a fan, um, all of those ever since then. I, I wrote an article several years ago and I think it's real important is that uh, I'm starting a new job in August in Jamaica as a teacher. And I tell everybody that I take a lot of baggage and the baggage is the greatest kind of baggage because it's the ISTA baggage and all the experiences and education and love and, and joy that ISTA brings us. So well, that's that me. is a, a wealth of information uh, that, you know, that obviously ISTA and ourselves are just so lucky to have uh, you, you know, being part of our, our, on, our artist ensemble uh, for so many years and being such a cheerleader. And now we've got Chris here, which is amazing. I'm glad the technology has finally worked for us. Uh, Chris, can you tell us a little bit about yourself as well? Sure. I've, um, I started out as an actor many years ago and um, I trained at a couple of um, the acting schools in Australia, one at the Western Australia Academy of Performing Arts and the National Institute of Dramatic Art in Sydney. And um, I moved from there into teaching. So I've been teaching for about 20 years. We've had an IB program at Ravenswood, which is where I am for about 15 years. And we've introduced it for the theatre for the first time in 2021 and we um, while being very excited about doing this I was also very nervous about doing a completely new course but we did a we've done some fantastic things so far we've done a great um, workshop with Sam Pierce last year um, I did a director's notebook workshop with Simon Bell and of course, we've got Randy to take us through this TAPS experience now for year one IB theatre students. And they're absolutely loving it. Um, they look forward so much to coming to the classroom and they keep on saying to me in class, when are we going to see Randy again? So I don't know if that's a reflection on my teaching or on, on, on Randy's, but they love, they love the actual involvement um, of the interactive sessions that we've been having with Randy so far and um, they're looking forward to the next two as well. Oh that's excellent and like so tell us a little bit about what 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 life at school is like where you are because I know yeah, look, ev every school we've got is looks entirely so different. different so what's it like? Okay. Uh, All right, wait a minute um, Chris is about to make the world very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I am We've been so fortunate. We have, since the beginning of this year, we've had a progressive um, relaxation of um, restrictions around COVID-19 to the point that, and we just made the announcement um, at our school assembly yesterday, all our musical activities have gone back to um, how they were pre-COVID. So people can sing in ensembles and groups. Um, we have 100% capacity now at our theatre companies, commercial theatre companies in Sydney. And I've just put in a um, request for the school to do the same with an upcoming production of the Comedy of Errors, which is what we're doing in a few weeks time. And I, I feel confident the school is going to say we're going to let the, the community in to see it. So pretty much as far as 
live theatre goes, we're back to pre-COVID. So as Randy said, I'm probably making everybody else very um, jealous. And my heart goes out to everybody because I have a number of contacts in the UK. My wife's from the UK. We know how difficult it is in the Northern Hemisphere, um, but we are in a, in a great position um, in Australia at the moment and looking forward to doing lots of um, workshops coming up. In fact, we've got a Viewpoints workshop with Shane Anthony coming up in June, which we're really looking forward to. And we've got all our theatre excursions um, to look forward to for the rest of the year as well. So we're kind of making up for lost time in 2020. Yes. Well, maybe not jealousy, but hopefulness. Let's, let's, everyone's <laughs> going, right. this is the future. This is what we're looking I, I at. I, I, look, I, I feel hopeful and I'm, I'm sure that this, this bubble is just going to keep on expanding and, and, and everybody will be able to share that experience, which we all, which we all love about theatre because it's that live interact, essentially that live interaction between a performer and an audience member. And it's that magic that happens in that space that, that we've all been missing and hopefully we'll be coming back soon. Absolutely. But it, it's actually kind of, you know, it makes me think, you know, if, if your life has been, you know, quite normal um, in yeah. that sense, you know, I guess my question is, why did you look to this TAPS experience where it's a hybrid kind of experience? So Randy's in, you know, in North Carolina in the US and you're in Sydney. So why does this make sense for you who's kind of got this normal life going back? Why have you decided to do this program? Well, I think, Carrie ann because um, the course that I've been teaching up until now has been um, an Australian curriculum. So it's been a New South Wales based course. And um, what I love about the IB course in general, and particularly with theatre, is the international and global aspect of it. I think the more that we can reach out to fellow students and practitioners across the world. That's really essentially what the idea is about. It's, it's establishing that global community. And um, TAPS dovetailed brilliantly into that kind of vision that I had for the IB here. Um, and it's been fantastic to be connected with somebody with Randy's experience in having been with um, ISTA and doing the IB course for so IB theatre course for so long, his, his, his um, warmth and his um, generosity of spirit and his knowledge and um, the excitement he creates amongst his students is wonderful. And that's what I'm seeing with my students. So it's, uh, if we hadn't been doing this, it would be, um, the course would be I mean, it'd be a fantastic course to do, but it would be far less than it is at the moment, far less of an experience than it is. At the yeah. yeah. And Randy, what do you like? How do you feel? You know, you've done a few of these different kind of taps online experiences, but this one, you know, this one's really standing out to you as something quite special. What how how is this one different? And, you know, what do you think, you know, makes it different? What do you think is the, the kind of the real thing that's happening here? There's, um, I tell my students, first day when we're talking about DP theater is there's actually two courses going on. And I think Chris said this so very well. There is the theater course, which is all the things we love, the collaboration and the uh, and then there's the DP course. And it's, it's that educational hoop, you know, jumping through educational hoop part of the course. I feel like that having spread this out over, Chris, how many months? Four months, five months? Yeah, yeah, four or five months, that, five or six actually. Yeah, that we've been able to go, okay, we're on this stage, this is, and this is what's happening. The very, very cool part, the interaction session with, with the students, the kids are going in and saying, so I have this question, I have this, I've looked at this. 
Um, I, and I'm not blowing my own horn when I, when I say this, but it's what I always felt like the mentor program in ISTA was about, you know, when, when I first, um, you know, and I have to go back to Sally and Mora and Claire in Hong Kong. When I first started uh, teaching the DP, though they were guys who were there that I could contact anytime. And I feel like that's kind of what this program is. You know, that Chris can email me or I can email Chris and go, you know, and to have that in the first year of teaching the course, I think it's a very positive thing. Hmm. So, yeah, I, I guess think, maybe to explain how is this working? What is it? What does it look like for people who are watching and seeing like, okay, it's a DP course. It's lasted six months. What does it look like? Can you kind of explain how it is that you laid it out, how it's kind of structured and, and how you are doing those interactions in between? Uh, Okay, Chris, this is your baby, so I'm going to hand that over to you. <laughs> That's absolutely fine. So, look, um, one of the reasons I suggested to Carrie Ann at the beginning when we were talking about a program, a TAPS program for the school, was um, my feeling was that there are so many rich elements to the course, and I, I, I can see advantages for having a two or three day symposium where you, which is kind of more the traditional basis or extended it over the way that um, Randy and I have done with this program. What I like about the structure that Randy and I and Carrie Ann have come up with is that we look at each of the major components and then the students have time to process that. They have time to work on that, putting their own input they have time to do classwork um, away from the interactive se session, come back to the interactive session with a product for um, Randy to, to see um, live, and then they also come with their questions as well. So I think it allows us uh, that, that process of um, being able to integrate all the experiences that we're getting rather than doing something on a particular day and then coming back to that particular co co um, component maybe six months after the event this way that we're going through each of these um, components of the director's notebook the collaborative project the solo theater piece we're doing them all in a way which allows the time for the girls to really get the most out of the experience and that's what i like about it and 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 so what randy is able to do He's able to send us um, material and um, uh, points to work to. We can work on that. And then once we have our session with um, Randy, it throws up a whole series of new questions. And we take those questions away from that session, work on them, and then come back to the next session, which might be three or four weeks in three or four weeks' time. So it allows, it allows us that um, deeply... Um, embedded uh, interaction with Randy, which, which means that the girls are going through the course progressively and I think really absorbing each of the components that we're, we're looking at in, in our, the way we structured our TAPS course. Yeah. And Carrie Ann, I think there's a curriculum model that's kind of important to interject here. Um, the DP course, gets taught in a lot of different ways. And and I'm not putting a value judgment on, on any process of teaching the course. As a teacher, I was, I and I am again in August, uh, think of not teaching a component of the course but teaching the course and so we're looking at theater in context theater in um sorry <laughs> <laughs> we're That's looking at the course. i know it um, i liked your theme we're song looking, <laughs> you're looking <laughs> that was a little embarrassing um <laughs> 
we're looking at the course at holistically. So we're looking yeah. at theater in context, theater in the world. The kids' senior years, and you heard me say my babies, and you know, and I feel like Chris's students have got to be my students for a year, and that's such a gift that you know I feel like I'm part of uh, of yeah. their growth. But this year has honestly been about fundamentals of the course, and this is where we're going next year, and hopefully they get to do the collaborative project next year. Everything's in place for them to make a decision about director's notebook and who's their theorist going to be and, yeah. and um, you know, what world theater we're going to look at. So there is a curriculum caveat that we probably should mention there. If, if you're teaching the course, first, semester we're going to do research projects second semester we're going to do director's notebook you know whatever that case is this is not that model mm. and and chris came in at the very beginning saying yep that's this is what i want to do and i and i think that part of the curriculum is really important to talk about there as well if yeah. if somebody yeah. was teaching it in that kind of setup that you were just describing where you know you do a, a semester how how do you think maybe this taps could could it be adapted like you know b basically every school is entirely different and, and approaches and yeah. how the school wants to structure the how could how could it maybe look different elsewhere then the the i love saying i'm an artist <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the, um that would that would need to be a conversation that was became very clear from the very beginning and part of that and i have to talk about kind of the ista miss mission statement here for a second um my my role is not to teach the course my role is to enhance the the teaching, the delivery, the the experience of the course. So that would be possible, but it would need to be very clear up front that in this two month period, um, Chris and I are, we've just gone eight weeks without talking with each other, Chris. Is that how long it's, it's been? been? Like, I, I, yeah, it's about a couple of months now, yeah. And is that just you know, the, between the sessions, the way that Chris has kind of laid out the course and how yeah. he wants to, okay. You know, and um, there's, there's also, and Chris, you've said wonderful, nice things about me. So I have to turn it around here. And, and <laughs> like, I feel, I feel like that early on, Chris and I, developed a relationship if he if there's a question chris is on an email like boom going randy yeah. what did you mean by this statement and you know where is this going um so there has to be that opening yes that that model's possible carrie ann to go back to uh to your question but that's why the online taps is so important with that relationship with the teacher and the artist. That it, it's very different than a live tap sometimes where, you know, the teachers are out having their workshop, which is wonderful, and the kids are there. But, yeah. um, there's a moment I want to share with everyone because I th it was one of like it it left me about two and a half hours in my journal. We were doing uh, a live theater experience exercise, Chris. I don't know if you remember this. Yeah. Um, and I said, Chris, 
it's perfectly okay for you to join with the kids as we do this exercise. And we were talking about team and, and I go, okay, go to a moment of the live theater you saw and share that experience with me and what does it smell like? What did it taste like? And yep. at one point, yep. Chris is up against the wall with his nose against the wall. And he said, <laughs> and this is what this world felt like. Yeah. It was such a gift for his students to go through that experience with them and go, yeah, this is what that felt like. And mm. so that's been this experience. That's, I think that's right, Randy. The fact that this, I haven't done a live tap session before, so I, I don't speak with that knowledge, but that student, teacher, and artist are all in the same space together, I think makes, adds a lot, doesn't it, Randy, to the whole experience, rather than students having their experience over in this, this room and, and, and teachers doing their um, symposium and professional development in another room. It's everybody together. And I think that really helps the learning um, of, of the experience. Uh, it makes the learning much deeper and richer. So yeah, I think those moments are, are wonderful. And I have to say, Randy, um, one of my students, um, Randy knows, um, Emily, of course, is one of our students who said to me after one of our sessions with you, Randy, she says, I feel so much more confident now that I have Randy helping me through this, this particular um, course here. So she was, she thinks you're fantastic. And, and I think all the students are feeling that they can go into their various tasks and components of the course with a great deal of confidence. Um, and uh, that's, that's been one of the, the really important things for us from this whole experience. And it's also really important to interject here, Chris, is the number of times that, and I've done about five of these online uh, taps this year, that I've said exactly the same thing that you had said before I said it, but they heard it from somebody else. And, and of course they listened to you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, I feel like, <clears throat> I take my students, uh, you know, last year was my 30, no, sorry, 43rd year as a theater teacher. And I take my students to TAPS workshops. And it's, you know, it's funny how we sometimes as teachers forget, we can go watch the same play by three different com companies and get a different experience, but the same play. Mm. When, when two people are telling students to find the meaning, you know, you have to name your meaning, it becomes stronger. And I think, you know, like, yeah. um, I've found that in every session. Like, I, I'm working with amazing, I've had the opportunity to work with four five amazing theater teachers this year um, who who are all saying everything absolutely right but sometimes it's just nice for kids to hear it from somebody else yeah and, absolutely you know i have to I, you know my last last year in uh, Thailand, Chris, uh, sorry, Simon Bell came in and talked to my kids. Yeah. And I knew he used exactly the same 10 sentences I've been saying for a year. And all of a sudden, my kids were going, Oh, Simon said this. I was going, yeah, so did Randy. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think that also gives that. you. 
it also gives you a, a really great perspective, Randy, you know, with this new format of, you know, the ISTA artist zooming in and the school being there, you get the perspective of, of seeing schools in action. Um, whereas, you know, before the kids would come and they would be part of, of this. And, and that is absolutely fantastic because it's an event. It's like, you know, this kind of festival style experience where you're meeting in, in different ways. But I think this format also gives a different perspective and it allows our artists to really understand the teachers and their experiences because yeah. as I'm saying, like every school looks entirely different. Um, yeah. And I think that's what's, you know, hopefully, you know, Chris has found really helpful this year is, is the, the idea of, of having somebody to talk to being a first year, you know, IB theater mm. teacher and, and having that support system, not just during the event, but that one that continues on as well. Yeah. Look, what, what I found, Carrie Ann, is that this has been such a fantastic experience with Randy, but it hasn't made me think oh, I don't want to do a, um, a three-day intensive as well, because I think they're both, you know, both valid ways of, um, of holding taps. And perhaps we've done, um, Randy and myself have done it, and yourself have um, curated a program, which has been slightly different, but it is now another string to the taps bow in a way. We can use this as a model for students who might, and, and teachers who might want to do the same, have the same kind of experience. But I, I'm actually looking forward to the day when I'll take another group through, but we'll be going to one of these, you know, a more, um, you know, traditional, I suppose, TAPS experience where you have it run over the three days. I, I'm really looking forward to that opportunity as well. I think just having uh, choice is so, yeah. ex, you yeah. know, exciting is, you yeah. know, it's just having the option to, you know, some year, travel depending on where the taps are located and things yep. like that sometimes travel makes that really difficult sometimes it will yeah. you know make sense to do it that way instead yeah. and they're not exclusive no. i think that's really that's really important yesterday i um had a zoom meeting with uh the year 10 students who were choosing IB in Jamaica in, in, in the school I'm going to work in. And one of the things, you know, one of the carrots that, you know, that I held up was we will look forward to either this year or next year doing a TAPS in New York or London. And I, that experience is never going to be replaced. There's, there is nothing we're ever going to do online that's going to yeah. replace the New York experience or the, the London experience or the uh, Thailand, you know, the Asian TAPS experience with kids coming together and going through that intensive program. But Carrie Ann, like you said, there may be that school that says we can't do that. And and unfortunately, I think you know, we're gonna be dealing with another year yeah. of of schools that want to give those kids that experience. But whether it's it's local country, home country restrictions or traveling, ex you know, we're yeah. still we're this is not going to end by July. You know, it's it's just yeah. Not but I think you know some of the conversations that we've been having with some other teachers and and in in places similar to Australia where life is starting to kind of get back to yeah. normal schools are maybe being able to you know meet up together maybe two schools could partner up um and I think you know as much as uh you know that travel I you know can I imagine from Australia all the way to New York would be you know quite intense but it might open up the opportunity to look around in our communities and say oh there's an IB school that's you know just 20 minutes down the road maybe yeah. we can do something together and we've got you know and I think 
the, the exciting thing for us as, you know, event coordinators and things this year for ISTA has been just having conversations with teachers and coming up with ideas and brainstorming because I think oftentimes, you know, there's people are, are going, okay, just what do you offer? And we're like, well, <laughs> we've got, <laughs> like, we can do this, we can do yeah, this, we can do yeah. and, and the options are just really you know, the conversation I know Chris and uh, Ebony, Chris's colleague and I had at the beginning were you telling me kind of what you were, you know, what scenario you kind of were in and what you were kind of looking for. And it was just me throwing out ideas of ways yeah. that we could possibly do this. And you were like, okay, hold on, I need to go home and like think about this. But then, you know, it, it just went okay this could fit in our scenario because you know it just it's so unique and everybody's uh, you know situation is completely different and i just like being able to offer something that's going to be the best fit for teachers like yourself and teachers in other scenarios and circumstances so it's been really fantastic and i know i just mentioned ebony chris just i know we've just got a couple of minutes left but um you were mentioning at the beginning that you teach both the New South Wales curriculum as That's well right. as the IB curriculum. How do those at your school kind of marry and, and how have you maybe introduced some of those other students to what's happening with your, you know, lucky IB DT theatre students? Yeah, look, um, Karen, I mean, it's, it's, it's the commonality of, I mean, theatre is theatre and we're trying to give all our students whatever their curriculum, the richest experience that we can. So a lot of the workshops um, and a lot of the productions that we'll see as um, DP students will have obvious re relevance to the, um, to the New South Wales curriculum students as well. So this, um, this uh, viewpoints workshop, Carrie ann that we've got with Shane next month, it's going to be a combination of four girls that um, Randy's been um, connecting with, plus the 13 girls that Ebony's been teaching in, in the New South Wales curriculum. So we're actually being able to use the TAPS um, experience to enrich their, 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 um, their theatre uh, uh, understanding. And, and I think it's, it's um, th there are so many points where they can cross over. We look at, we look at um, Basically, we do research presentations in, in, in the New South Wales curriculum. Um, do, most of the girls do a solo performance. Most of the girls in the New South Wales curriculum will do a group project. So the links to the collaborative project and so on are, are quite clear and, and we can often find ways of finding a course that may be New South Wales curriculum focused and thinking, oh yeah, the IB DP students would get a lot out of this or the other way around. There's something that you come up with from um, ISTA and I think we'll, we'll certainly get a lot from the IB girls seeing that, but also the you know, state curriculum girls would benefit from that as well. So we're always excellent. Connections it, it's so nice that the, you know the two groups that operate quite differently in terms of their curriculum do have those opportunities to connect and I'm sure yeah. you and Ebony are you know sitting in your office in the shared office and throwing we're, out ideas? We're, we're about a meter away from each other. That's right. We don't, <laughs> we don't have meetings. We don't have meetings because our whole time together is a constant meeting. Yes, yeah. exactly. You don't have to schedule anything. <laughs> That's right. Well, is there anything else that you think that you know people who are watching might want to know about the experience, or is there anything else that you would, or maybe what you would uh, tell somebody who would be, you know, on the fence thinking about whether this is a good fit for them? I I would have to say I have I was expecting it to be good, Kerry Ann, but it was far exceeded any expectations I've had with it. It's just been so fantastic to have this connection with Randy, to have the connection with Ista to really get into um, exploring all these different aspects of theatre. And I am happy, if anybody is out there, for Carrie ann to pass on my contact details to them, for them to contact me about how's, this, how's it going or if they want any more information, I'm, I'm more than happy to spend time to do that for anybody who wants Thank that. you. That's really kind of you. Randy, is there any last no, words no. that you'd like to pass on? <laughs> No, I think like Chris just nailed it. I'm just going to like 
take my glow and go home. No, uh, <laughs> but, you know, I talked at the beginning about the fact that I travel with this baggage, you know, that the, what the ISTA experience has done. And, and one of the things as artists, Chris, in live events that we often say to each other is it's the experience and we're going to adapt and we're going to change and we're going to make that happen. I am so proud of the organization that I work with over the last year. And I haven't said this very unofficially to anyone, but I, I think everybody needs to be aware of how hard the office, the, the, the core team has worked yeah. and the artists have worked to keep theater alive and well and growing and, and a celebration of life. Um, that, so what schools need, we're there for you. And uh, like Chris said about your conversations, yours and Chris and uh, Ebony's conversations before I came in, if there's something we can do, let us know. Yeah. Absolutely. I always say it's like the field of dreams. If you, you know, if you dream it, let us know and we probably can do it. <laughs> because it really is. There's like, right now it's just changed entirely. Like every, every, you know, idea that you throw out there that, you know, that yeah. possibly could stick, it's probably able to do it in some form of you know or fashion that you can you know yeah. make it work so um it's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you guys and you know it, it's been a while Likewise. since chris and i kind of put the structure together yeah. um so it's amazing to hear just how successful that's worked out and i'm yeah i'm very pleased and i'm so happy that you guys are having such a great time and you've got a few more sessions left before the uh yeah. the end of the session so uh yeah. enjoy those and uh and say hi to the the girls that are doing it and uh, we really appreciate all the support. So thank you very much for joining us today. That's great. Pleasure. Okay. Bye thank bye. you so much. Bye. Yeah. Bye.